It's honestly been so long since I've been here that I can't remember why I stopped coming here. It's definitely been over a year, so I'm really not sure what to expect. It is so hot in here. Now I'm starting to remember why I do not come here. Whoa, this hula girl. I'm a little thrown off by it. $24. It's, it looks like the one from the 60s, but it's a big size. I feel like that's unusual. They're usually a little bit smaller. And it looks like it's in perfect condition, which I'm like 24, yeah. Hmm. need to investigate this further so you can also tell by the coil uh, it is one of the ones from the 60s I just can't believe it's in such good condition so far I haven't found much but I found some really good stuff uh, the last hula girl I had like that I think it sold for anywhere I think it was like 46 bucks but it was also half the size oh my gosh I love this set it's by Napco I had the picture once before um, and the syrup. I've never seen them all together like this. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. The syrup's got some uh, paint missing. I really want to get this, but honestly, I'm so <laughs> hot that I'm not sure if I'm willing to make the trip all the way back to grab the whole set. It did take a while for the picture to sell last time but it had some crazing. I think it sold for like 30 bucks. And of course, now that I'm in better light, I can see that um, it's definitely one of the ones from the 60s. It's just in really good condition. It's too hot in here. I'm tapping out. Hey, whoever works there is way more hardcore than I am. And hopefully my next spot has air conditioning. A lot of people ask me why I don't go to thrift stores, or if I go to thrift stores, I should say. Um, the truth is I do sometimes. It's just very underwhelming for me because I sell a pretty specific genre of stuff and it's usually not there, but it was so hot at that last place I decided to stop in the Goodwill because I got stuck at the longest light ever and had a very underwhelming experience. So now I'm gonna get back on the road. I've tried to stop here before, but it's always like randomly closed. It says open daily, but it's definitely not. So it kind of looks like it's going out of business, um, which is not surprising, but I definitely called in advance and I feel like that's something you should probably mention. Well, I'm almost halfway through the empty aisles. Uh, see the Shawnee planners. There is a discount, but honestly, I'm just like so turned off by this experience. I think I'm gonna pass. Lots of hobnail, but it's all white. And it's 25% off retail, so I'm gonna pass. Well, I really feel like I'm not allowed to complain because I usually get pretty lucky, especially considering how often I do this. But today has just not been my day. I basically just did a six hour loop to the exit where I live. Also, FYI, if your business is closing and you are actively loading shelving units into a tr moving truck, you should probably mention that when someone calls and asks for your hours. So I'm just gonna hit a couple local spots just to like reset and then I'm gonna go home and definitely call it a day. This little pirate timer is so funny. Seven bucks. I feel like I actually have one and it hasn't sold. And then the singing in the rain music box is cute, but it's pretty common. I know this lamp is contemporary, but it's so awesome. I mean, I obviously wish it was a different color. Um, it's definitely a little too pricey for me. So I guess she hasn't finished uh, pricing stuff. So it looks like I'm gonna have to come back because um, they close in like less than 10 minutes, so I don't want to be that guy. Yeah, I'm going to come back and uh, check this out again next week. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, and this happy little cat. <laughs> I'm 
Man, I needed to see this right now. It's definitely brings uh, happiness, but again, I'm gonna have to come back when everything's priced. What is that? Interesting. Fun World. I love Fun World dolls, and a lot of them actually uh, sell for decent money. I'm curious about this too. And the turtle soap dish looks contemporary. I'm pretty sure that's new. I'm surprised those lip glasses are still here. Gosh, there's so much new stuff. This is so exciting. <laughs> chicken or rooster excuse me it's kind of fun I've I haven't had one of these in a while the price is really good maybe I should pick this up but I don't know I'm kind of like in a weird mood after being fried by all that Sun <laughs> whoa and this this is an amazing deal this thing's huge oh my gosh it's German too that is really spectacular have to measure that though I'm pretty sure it might be uh, 13 inches packed and that will screw my whole thing up whoa these are neat Westmoreland it's, the whole set's 20 bucks I just love this jade eye color um, it's actually 20% off so it's 4 for 16 which is a huge steal I'm gonna go ahead and take these um, I feel like one of them sells for 15 alone. And they're all in like really great condition too. I bet they glow. Oh my gosh, I just love this. It's just such a fun color. They're definitely a little bit heavier than I'd like, but I think it's important to switch it up sometimes so it doesn't get boring for you or me. Oh, this glass syrup is so much fun. Oh my gosh, I love the flowers. And it uh, appears to be all there. It's only $4, which, I mean, $5 plus the 20%, it's super cheap. I'm going to take this, too. I feel like I looked at these candle holders last time. But, uh, they're a little bit more than I'd like to spend. Ooh. Am I having a moment? Or are these really pretty? I think they're really pretty. <laughs> the question is, do they see? all without the cups um, eight bucks and then 20 percent so six dollars and fifty cents essentially which is definitely a good price i think they're fire king hmm, i'm really going back and forth about these i think they're just pretty honestly but i don't think they have much more resale value and then these ones are ten so eight. Yeah, that's probably pretty close to uh, what I'd get for them after fees if I come online. They are really nice though. Oh, and this power job, that's really nice. The like Marie Antoinette style, seven dollars, but the lid looks a little loose. Yeah, unfortunately it does not fit. Whoa, this Mickey toy is epic. It's got a busted ear. I can't remember. I know I've seen it before and I felt like it sold for a lot. This guy's kind of cute. He reminds me of one of those little grooms. Japan. No price. It's like a pick holder. This set definitely looks new, but they're so fun. I love the ladybug, but definitely contemporary. These are kind of unusual. <laughs> German carrots, salt and pepper. <laughs> it's a little strange, eight bucks. They're kind of neat. I've seen these before. They're definitely newer, but they're so much fun. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just kind of having a moment. I've had a long day. Now I'm also blanking on this. I can't remember, is this supposed to be a planter? I know there's a decanter version. Uh, the paint's missing on his nose and he's got a little hairline it looks like. It's been a while since I had one of these deer. I love the color. And this guy's funny, but uh, unfortunately he's new. I'm kind of obsessed with this TV tray. It's hilarious. It's only 13 bucks too. I kind of wish I had a purpose for it. It would be considered oversized. 
This is really pretty. I love the roses. $11.50, that's not a bad price. Um, but it would probably cost double that to ship that across the country, honestly. Oh, it's like these roses. Uh, they are missing their napkin holder, but sometimes I sell them separately anyway. This. Mr. Peanut, he's uh, pretty close to retail. I actually have this candy jar in my shop. I've had it for a couple months. I'm honestly a little surprised it's still there. I thought it was such an unusual color. And then, no way I'm getting that basket. I love the candy jar still, though. Oh, and then these puppy dog salt and pepper shakers. I love anything ceramic fuzzy. They're 12 bucks, but they're 50% off. If they weren't missing as much fur, I would definitely get those. This bowl is new, but it's incredible. I'm obsessed. It's only 12 bucks and it's glass. I mean, it would be such a cool coffee table piece. It's a great concept. And of course the daisies. I've passed this uh, little dream pads guy up a few times. I've seen him recently. 11.25, that's a little too close for me. I've had these roosters a few times too. Uh, I'm missing some paint there. Mm. Did I like a Japan boy? Oh, that's neat. Bank. Oh, I just remembered. I've definitely picked that up before. What is this? It's a handmade. Oh, 15 bucks. If it was a little cheaper, I'd probably get that because, I mean, it's definitely unique. I've never seen anything quite like it, honestly. It's definitely handmade, too. It's kind of fantastic. <laughs> even know what I could get for something like this honestly ah oh, goofy cucumbers <laughs> I love them 10 bucks I'd pay 10 bucks for these I don't usually see I'm in this holder thing I'm not sure if that's original but why are they on sale randomly there's got to be something ah that's what it is they're um two salts not a salt and pepper Two of the same. It was 11 a.m. when I left. It's now 6 p.m. I've just kind of succumbed to the fact that it's just kind of not my day out here. Mm -hmm.